All right, check it out, y'all. I got me some used tires. Woo. Whoa. Look at that, buddy. It's taking it right off. Snap on. Let's get these things cleaned up and mounted to the truck. So here's the old tire. Yeah, it's got like 330 seconds left. It's cupping. Well, that's one of the old ones. That's the best old one. So let them go too far, but these things are expensive right now, man. So yeah, we got some tread left, but it doesn't matter because we got some new meats. So, whoo, look at that, buddy. Big old lugs. They're in really good shape, but they got that brown stuff all over them. But we need to get them cleaned up and pressure washed up. They got a little bit of mud staining on there, whatever. So these only have like 2,000 miles on them at the time of filming this video, so they're basically brand new. They just got the nipples worn off of them. They got like half inch of tread on them. One, two, three, four, five. But the spare, the full size spare isn't gonna fit. It's a 2006 Chevy Silverado. And yeah, there's the spare right there. That's not gonna fit, because that's a 245 spare, and you can see it's right up against the hitch. And these are way too big. These are 285, 7017 low range Cs. Let's get them cleaned up. Boom! Oh! Two! Come on! Get out of there. Nice! Right on top of the other one. Oh, shh! That one's pretty clean. Man, that's a workout. How do you think I got these big old muscles? So pressure washing the tires did absolutely nothing. And the letters are all brown, they're supposed to be white. And you can see it's got this brown film all over the tire. So I got some of this stuff right here, let's test it out and see if it works. Probably a little much, but we're gonna see. Whoa! It's taking it right off. All right, so I got a rag, let's wipe it off. Oh man, look at that, that's incredible. Much better, look at that. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna rinse these off and we're gonna see how clean it is. There's after, man, this thing looks good as new. Put some tire shine on there and it should last. So we got all that brown stuff off of there, easy. And the white is now nice and white. Success, man, that stuff worked great. Let's get them mounted. It's a nice change to watch someone else doing all the work in this heat. Man, I could get used to this. So the disc brakes are looking good. Changed the brakes not long ago. There's not much wear on them. The suspension is in pretty good shape. That's good, good sway bar link bushings. Uh, we're gonna need this in good shape because we gotta go get it aligned after we did change the tires. Drum brakes, never had, I never had to fuss with these on these Silverados. They last forever. And then of course these little bump stops. I changed those not long ago because I put way too much mud in the bed and man, yeah, I had to get new ones.
Those snap-on tire machines have been here for a long time. Looks like they've been putting in a lot of work. Oh yeah, those are riding much better, much more smooth. This is my second set of BFGs and you know, I hadn't had any problems with them. He said they balanced out pretty well, you know, he didn't have any problems balancing them, but they ride pretty well. I had BFGs before, my last set was BFGs, uh, ATK 02s. I never had the ATK 01s, but I had Nittos, I didn't like those. But yeah, these work pretty well, especially, uh, I don't do off-roading, you know, much. But, you know, wet grass and stuff, I hadn't had any problems. But um, in the rain, they don't have as much siping, you know, for the rain. So they kind of slip a little bit sometimes, but it doesn't matter. They ride smooth for how aggressive the tread is on them. Man, my guy does a great job. All right, we got them mounted. Man, they're looking good. Big old meat. So when he balanced them, he put the weights on the inside. I think it looks better that way. I don't know. Is there a better way to do it? Go down back here. Let's check them out. So when I get used tires, I always put the cup ones in the back. They normally come off of Jeeps. I noticed they cup, so I put the cup ones in the back to try to get them to wear better, at least to start out with. And I got those high pressure valve stems, you know, they're like over 50 PSI. So everybody always says, put the tires at, you know, 35 PSI. I don't do it. These big old tires, you know, they're load range C. Sometimes you get load range E. And if you read the sidewall, You'll see it says max PSI, 50 PSI. So you're running 35 PSI in your tires on your truck. It's just too low, man. It won't wear in the center, right? It'll ride on the edge and it'll cup them, especially in the front. So this Chevy Silverado cups tires like crazy. I get it aligned all the time, you know. The suspension's in great shape, but something about it, it just cups them. And so, you know, I really watch the pressures, but they're looking real good. Get them shined up. That's it for the video. Check y'all in the next one. Later.